Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my getting started with Meritus. Um, it's a game engine I found and have used a little bit. Um, it's quite nice, it supports uh, Windows, Mac OS X, and the iPhone. And today in this tutorial we're going to learn about just dropping it into its own folder here on my desktop as well as setting up the blender exporter. Uh, the reason I decided to start uh, teaching this is along with uh, teaching blender, um, Maratis uh, happens to work quite well uh, with blender and is quite well integrated so we are going to be learning a little bit about it and check the description for links for downloads as well as anything else as usual everything's always in the description alright so I'm gonna move these over here and I'm going to right click and create a new folder I'm just gonna call it after the engine let's open the folder and the latest version as of this tutorial is 3.02b and I'm just going to drop everything I'm just gonna drop the folder itself into here all right, if Windows will hurry up. Okay, so let's go on ahead and take a quick look before we install the Blender exporter. So set the tiles, go into bin, and launch maritis.exe as well. Um, this engine uses both Lua scripting and C++ and we'll look at scripting later. Alright, so this is what we're first presented with. Um, as these tutorials progress we will cover more and more about the interface as well as as it evolves we'll cover more. Uh, let's go on ahead and open up a project file open project and let me back out of here to the actual desktop. All right, let's navigate into ours, and we want to go into examples, demos, and then load the demos project. All right, and it will load up this default scene. Okay, so movement about and inside of Maritis is quite simple. If you hold control and then middle mouse, you can drag. You use mouse wheel to zoom in and out and middle mouse to rotate and just like in other engines up here you have your widgets you have your select which is hotkey is M as you notice in the tooltip translate which is T rotate which is R and scale which is S and if you hold control you can move oops. multiple items at once and control Z to undo or you can just move one alright now one more thing we're gonna cover before we jump over to blender is you can play this in real time by clicking the little pac-man symbol and the controls and this demo are the arrow keys Alright, and then escape to get out of it. Okay, so we'll be covering more on this in a later tutorial. But now let's set up Blender. So let's go and open up Blender. Alright. Now I'll go to File, User Preferences. Go to Add-ons. I was already at it because I have recently installed it. Install Add-on. Navigate to our desktop or wherever you happen to have the exporter and then click install add-on. Alright, and I'm sure for you guys it automatically jumped up and it's only showing the one uh, Maritis exporter. But if you don't, go to import export, scroll down to the bottom, here it is. Click the checkbox to enable it and then click save as default and from now on anytime you open up blender you'll be able to go to file export 
and you'll be able to export a Maritis mesh. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we're going to look at creating a quick scene inside of Blender and creating a new project inside of Maritis and opening it, or rather importing it, and setting it up. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, either stop by the Maritis forums, or you can stop by my forums as well. And go on ahead and join the IRC, which is also located in the description. If you have any questions and would like some live help as well, go on ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with uh, what new tutorials are coming out. Thank you.